Hello everyone, I'm John. Uh, in, in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to create this nice render setup which looks like a photography studio. So you can basically use this for anything you want like product presentations or just messing around like testing on your model that you made. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do is create our studio background. So go to create panel shapes select the line and in the front view part just hold shift and click with your left mouse button and drag the shift is for toggling the snap so the line goes straight to the left or you know up and down uh, make a line click make a line going up click again and make a shape like this. Uh, just click with your right mouse button to finish your shape. Uh, go to the modify tab and in this plus sign right here in the left of the line click on that and select vertex. Now you will scroll down in the options until you find the tool called fillet click on that and click in the this vertex right here hold and drag to make something to make a smooth transition like this also in the top vertex okay that's fine just click line to get out of the submenu of the spline now in the modifier list click this arrow right here and look for a modifier called extrude right here and uh, increase the amount I'm going for um, maybe 300 yeah just center the studio background to the, to the grid and now we'll add a we will add a modifier called normal so we can flip the material side and now the material is inside of the shape and I'm just going to move the the shapes a little bit up so it can align with the grid doesn't actually matter but yeah whatever now we'll create a two pot just for a demonstration and we will put it in the middle middle of the studio background just rotate it a little bit like this and now in the perspective view actually let me move this a little bit more to the center okay fine find a nice view in your perspective you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move around find a nice looking position and press ctrl c to create our camera and now the camera is created uh, you can see that uh, our teapot is very low has a very low polygon count so I'm going to select it go to the modify panel and increase the segments okay oh, that's cool and I'm going to move this up a little bit because it's passing through the floor yeah okay now we'll start to add our lights. So we'll go to the create panel, lights, and in the photometric tab, change, select target light. And uh, it will ask if you want to create a photographic exposure control, just hit yes. And in the left view, click in the edge of the studio background and drag the target of the light to the other side. 
and now we'll configure our light. So just hit shadows on, change the type to, of the shadow to ray traced shadows. I'm going to change the color of it. So to a little clear white, clear yellow. You don't have to do this by the way, it's just I like it. Uh, scroll dollar of more. Here is the intensity of the of the light. I'm not going to to change it right now. And uh, in shape slash area shadows, change the emitter emit light from shape. It will probably prob probably <laughs> probably be in the point. Just select rectangle and you can increase the size of your rectangle right here. The width as well. And uh, what else? Ah, and the rendering tab right here under shape slash area shadows. You see an option called light shape visible in rendering. This will give that look of a uh, re reflecting spotlight in your objects in the scene, but I'm not going to turn this on right now. So that's pretty much for this light. I'm going to select this light that we created, hold shift and drag to the other side so we can copy. But uh, the target still in the same spot, so we need to move this as well. Try to select the target of uh, our new light and drag it to the other side. And uh, select the light that we just copied. Go to the modify panel and change the color to a uh, clear blue. Okay. And uh, if you render this right now, it will prob probably be very bright, so yeah, just cancel that. Go to the rendering tab, rendering menu actually, and uh, go to exposure, con exposure control. In the MR photographic exposure control, change the preset to indoor daylight. If I render right now, it will be very dark, so to increase the brightness of the room, I just dec decrease the exposure value. I'm going for a 6. And if I try to render this right now... Yeah, I guess that's fine.